Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Mama June fans call Honey Boo Boo needy amid young love. Mama June fans are calling Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson needy amid her young romance with Drell and Carswell. The two have been together for almost three years and it shows no signs of slowing down. Yet some diehard followers worry that the team may be too dependent on her man. Keep reading for more details as to what they are saying. It was a big deal when Alana Honey Goo Boo Thompson could finally date at 16. She had met her current boyfriend, Drell and Carswell, shortly before when she was just 15. They met through friends but both her sister, Pumpkin, and her husband, Josh Efford, even Pumpkin's husband, Josh Efford had to interrogate him. As time went by, Pumpkin was worried that her sister was becoming too dependent on Dralin. She had him drive her everywhere and felt no need to get her license because of that. Pumpkin even compared her to their mother, Mama June, as she has always had men taking her here, there, and everywhere. In the family crisis, mid-season finale, June fought back about helping to pay for Elena's college tuition because of Dralin. She said that Dralin could get sentenced to prison, causing Alana to leave Colorado, and then that money would be down the drain. That started a Reddit thread with fans wondering if Alana was needy. The OP wrote this. So did followers agree that Alana was needy, or did they think she could make it on her own? She learned from June. Picking the worst qualities in men and ruining her own life to try to ride or die with them. Drellin is codependent on Alana. It's sad that she picked such a bum for her partner. Even if she was dependent and he goes to jail and she quits school, it's her money that she worked to earn. The one thing that was pointed out was how this really has nothing to do with Mama June in the long run. In reality, it is all about Alana. Honey Goo Boo Thompson, and what she wants to do with her life. Furthermore, the bottom line is it is Alana's money that she wants back, and she can do what she wishes with it. All Alana said in the clip was that she wanted to pay her own tuition. She will live and she will learn, but as a few pointed out, even if she was not raised by June, she is still her daughter. So she is following in her footsteps with the type of guy she chose. Hopefully, she follows through and proves her mother wrong. The golden hues of a late summer sunset bathe the small Georgian town, casting long shadows across the creaking front porch of Mama June's house. Inside, a familiar scene played out, one that fans of the family's long-running reality show had come to know well. Honey Boo Boo, or Alana as she was known to her family, sprawled out on the worn-out couch her phone glued to her hand as her fingers flew across the screen. A soft giggle escaped her lips, the kind only a person lost in the haze of young love could produce. Mama, I think Dralin's gonna come by later. She called out, her voice tinged with the excitement that only the possibility of seeing her boyfriend could bring. Chu and her mother leaned against the kitchen doorway with a knowing smirk wiping her hands on a dish towel. That boy's always over, ain't he? You two are glued together more than you and your phone. Alana rolled her eyes but couldn't hide the grin, pulling at the corners of her mouth. We just like hanging out, that's all. He gets me. But what Alana didn't know was that while she was basking in the glow of puppy love, the online world was buzzing. Fans who had watched her grow from the tiny Tyra-clad page and queen into a teenager navigating her first serious relationship had taken to social media with their opinions. And they weren't holding back. She's way too needy for her age, one comment read, always posting about Dralin like she can't do anything without him. Typical first love, another fan wrote. But girl needs to get a hobby that isn't just hanging off this dude's arm. The critiques piled up, each one another jab at a young girl trying to figure out what love and independence meant. But to Alana, none of that mattered. 
Not when the butterflies in her stomach were so loud they drowned out any noise from the outside world. Still, she was no stranger to harsh words and judgment. Her entire life had played out on television and social media for years. The thick skin she built up was now being tested by the waves of unsolicited advice and criticism crashing in. As night settled in, a soft knock on the front door pulled her out of her digital world. She leaped off the couch, her heart racing in that way it only did, when she knew Dralin was on the other side. Opening the door, she found him standing there with his usual easy smile, a bunch of wildflowers clutched in his hand. They weren't roses or anything fancy, but to Alana, they were perfect. You like him? he asked, a bit of shyness in his voice. They're beautiful, she replied, her cheeks flushing with warmth. She grabbed his hand, pulling him inside. The two of them settled into the living room, the hum of the television fading into the background as they lost themselves in conversation. They talked about everything and nothing, school, friends, future plans, and the latest episode of their favorite show. But even as they laughed and shared stories, Alana couldn't completely shake the echo of those online comments. In moments like these, when it was just the two of them, she felt whole, like she was exactly where she needed to be. And yet, the notion that people thought she was too needy gnawed at the back of her mind. After a while, Drellin noticed her sudden quietness. What's on your mind, Lana? You seem a little off. She hesitated, debating whether to share what had been bothering her. But if there was anyone she could be real with, it was him. It's just, people keep saying stuff online. Calling me needy, cause I talk about you so much. Drellin squeezed her hand, his thumb rubbing soothing circles on her palm. You care about what people think. Not usually, but this time I don't know. It's just getting under my skin, I guess. He leaned back, studying her for a moment before speaking. I get it but you can't let what other people say mess with your head. They don't know you, not really. They see bits and pieces and think they've got it all figured out, but they don't. His words hung in the air, offering a truth that she needed to hear, but hadn't fully grasped until now. She leaned into his shoulder, feeling the weight of the world ease off just a little. Yeah, I guess you're right. In a world where everything she did was scrutinized, Elena had always found comfort in her relationships, her family, her close friends, and now Dralin. It wasn't about being needy. It was about finding security in those she trusted, those who accepted her without judgment. It was easy for outsiders to label her emotions as clingy or immature. But for her, this connection was one of the few things that felt genuinely hers in a life that had been shared with the public since she was a child. The night continued with the pair scrolling through TikToks, sharing memes, and planning a weekend outing to the county fair. Simple things that felt monumental to Alana because they were filled with the freedom to just be herself. There was no need to perform, no cameras rolling to capture every misstep or awkward silence. Just a girl and a boy, navigating young love in all its messy, wonderful glory. As Drellin left later that night, planting a quick kiss on her forehead before saying goodbye, Alana felt a sense of peace settle in. She wasn't about to change who she was or how she felt just because people online had opinions. If being needy meant caring deeply, showing affection, and wanting to spend time with the people who mattered, then so be it. Life was too short to live by someone else's standards. Climbing into bed, she opened her phone one last time, scrolling through the day's notifications. She saw the same comments, some supportive, some critical, but this time they didn't sting as much. She double-tapped a heart emoji on Dralin's latest post before setting her phone aside. The world outside might always have something to say, but within her little bubble of laughter, love, and late-night talks, she was content. 
And as the first stars blinked into view outside her window, Honey Boo Boo closed her eyes, letting sleep take her. Maybe tomorrow she'd be seen as needy again by strangers, but tonight she was just Alana, young, in love, and happy. And that was enough.